Okay, everybody. What the heck is going on? Hope you're all having a great Monday. Ooh, breeze, of course, just picked up. Just got down here. Oh, once again, you guys don't recognize this spot. Back out on the salmon trout quest. Somebody left a cup of coffee there. Grab that on the way back. Trout salmon quest. Much, much colder today. It's going to be directly, directly in my face, it would appear. It's going to be tough. Two rods, really only use one, brought one as a backup. Size seven, white with a pearl tape, Swedish pimple. Coast Guard finally got the golden water. I mean, if I get swept away, I'll at least get rescued. Climb down this whole ladder and hit her patter, get at her. One nice thing about well, being a little bit later in April is the ice has finally melted off of the actual walkway part here. Definitely faster and less energy to walk through or to walk on the concrete than it is to walk on or walk through the water. I mean, leave everything here. Oh, definitely don't want to leave the mat. Made that mistake a few times in this spot. Put that like a samurai sword. We're gonna get after. Oh, took way more effort than it showed up. So I have seven Swedish pimple, double check my swivel, make sure that's all the way closed. Definitely not a bad tip. No bueno when you catch your first fish and you realize your swivel is open and he steals your bait. Hood up. Man, it sure was nice the last time I was out here. It was like 50 degrees. No fish caught, but about this time last year we started catching them. One fish on two weeks ago now, almost two weeks ago. about all we got. Get a little closer to the good old drop house. Whew, about an hour in. <sighs> no fishy encounters. Not sure what to think. Another guy came back, no luck today. Caught two cohos a couple days ago, he said. So they're starting to trickle in. Trying all different levels of good old water column. Nothing really paying off. Feeling optimistic though. Kind of like zombie fishing right now. Just walking as slow as I can possibly walk. Cast a little bit ahead of me, pull it back. Cast a little bit ahead of me, pull it back. I feel like it's not be not catching any fish in this spot. A little update. Cold as hell. Wind blowing straight into my face, so when you're trying to cast and work, there's no way to get out of it. But in one full pass, usually go down and back, but I got all my tackle as always down at the far end. Need to get that. The old white pimple has not been doing it. Only fish I've had on so far this year out here was on chrome. I'm gonna run back, grab that, fish my way back down, and uh, hopefully catch something. Whoo! Long freaking walk back to the old gear. That was windy at the current moment in time. That's kind of nice. Hopefully, winner, winner, first pocket. Oh, pretty much 20 of the same freaking baits in here, same freaking color. Okay, 
Where are you, girly? The one that I had one fish on on Monday, just chrome, and it did have pearl tape on it. It's still sticky, but they ripped the end of the paint off. I got a big chrome size nine, which is ginormous. Other than that, it's all white and pearl and white and white. I'll give this one a go. Pick up a spinner. Can't mess up the spinner now. All right, get that up and uh, hopefully get something going on. Apologize again if this is a video with no fish, people. Call it a daily no fish vlog. That's what we'll call this. Oh, I put that tackle box away before I took this one off. Not a very smart move, Scott. Ready to rock. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Almost all the way down on my second pass. Good old number seven chrome Haley girl. Not Haley girl, Swedish pimple, just kidding. Should be using a Haley jig, should potentially be ice fishing. Couldn't be any less productive. We're gonna get we're gonna make something happen. Woo! We're gonna a quick little walk. Up and down, warm up my mitts a little bit. Forgot my gloves once again. Two full passes from shore to the end, walk back shore to the end, fished. Probably, I don't know, freaking half mile or so total. One full pass with the white Swedish pimple, one full pass with the curled Swedish pimple. And still no gosh dang fish to show for it. Fish one more time on the way back. Probably then, probably give her a couple days rest. Might have to go a couple days without making videos for you guys. I don't know how many videos we can make with no fish. Whew, calling her a day. Skunked again. <sighs> Might have to take a week off from making videos if we can't catch any gosh dang fish. But as always, thanks for putting up with these boring filler videos until spring actually picks up leave a comment about how awful this video was subscribe if you haven't until next time happy adventure good freaking golly everybody if you made it to this point in today's i don't even know if i can call this a video i appreciate the living heck out of all of you it's been tough it's been very very tough as soon as the ice seems to start to be melting off of the lakes it drops down back into the low 30s and high 20s even the teens for a couple of days more snow all of our spring smallmouth spots are beyond locked up um still no plans to go walleye fishing unfortunately so that might unfortunately not happen this year but turkey season is a week away in my past videos i was saying turkey season started i have no idea where i got this from on april 20th which is a saturday which is not true it is actually Monday the 22nd, a week from today. So clarify that. If anybody goes off of the bogus advice that we give, do not go out and shoot turkeys this Saturday. You might find yourself in a world of trouble. Hopefully we'll shoot a turkey. I'm getting pretty gosh dang good on the turkey call, which I don't have in front of me or I would be ripping on it. Two slate calls. I got a glass and then a regular slate call. Really starting to like those. But fingers crossed, everybody, that... Uh, who in the next couple of weeks, either A, the cohos show up from wherever the gosh dang heck the cohos are, or B, the smallmouth spots open up. I like walleyes. I like eating walleyes. I would like to catch a 30 inch walleye, but I really, really, as far as spring goes, I absolutely freaking love catching big fat smallmouth. So that will be the plan for the coming weeks. I don't know, things got to turn around. I might just take the rest of this week off from making videos, maybe throw in a couple of vlogs if, uh, Something comes to mind, but really, a loss of words for uh, the last few weeks of trying to make videos. Whole plan with YouTube is we came a little late to the scene, and a lot of guys make, you know, one video a month, one video a week, and uh, 
sometimes that's what it takes to get grade A, you know, top-notch quality to make a video. But our plan is to just make more videos than everybody else. As you tell, I, I played, around, played around with some little effects, a little back corner of Final Cut Pro that I never knew was there. So trying to make our video quality a little bit better. Every time I brought the freaking drone, which is sitting right down here, out, it's been either too cold or too windy or raining. So I haven't been able to use the drone yet this year. Going to get it up in the sky today to look at a chunk of property I'm looking at hunting. Now, I know you're not allowed to use drones to look for animals, but as far as looking for clearings and forests and whatnot where you could sit for animals, I don't see really, really what's wrong with that. Let me know in the comment section if I'm doing something stupid. Let me know in the comment section about how bad you think this video is. Give us a thumbs up, probably thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Just leave a comment if you want to. We love talking with you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Who knows, until tomorrow or until I catch a fish. I have no idea, but we will be talking with you in the future. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Until next time, happy adventures.